Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Elvis Tejada and today we are going to talk about shutter speed. Before we get into the video, please like and comment down below and also subscribe so we can expand this channel to other people and we can help them. Now, what is shutter speed? Shutter speed is how long a single image is exposed to the outside light. A very fast shutter speed will not let much light in, but a very slow shutter speed will let more light in. If you look at the sun with your eyes closed and then you open them and close them real quick, you won't let that much light in, so it won't be that bright. But if you stare at it for three seconds with your eyes open, you're letting a lot of light in, which is gonna be very difficult for you to even keep your eyes open because we all know the sun is super bright. So that concept, that example is exactly the same when it comes to shutter speed. The higher the shutter speed, the less light that comes in, which creates a darker image because it's like that example we just said, we have our eyes closed and we instantly open and close them. We're not letting much light in. But the lower our shutter speed, we are basically staring at the sun, letting a lot of light in. So let's say we're shooting in 24 frames per second. 24 frames per second is basically 24 individual images taken in one second. Or if we're shooting in 60 frames per second, that means 60 images taken in one second. The shutter speed is how long those individual images are exposed to the light and how fast those images are captured. Now let's look at three things you need to take with you before this video ends. Number one, the lower the shutter speed, the more motion blur you will get in your image. Let's look at an example now. I figured the best way to show you guys is having my dog run around in our backyard. There's a lot of motion because he is running. <clears throat> The shutter speed is set correctly here. Let's see what happens when we lower our shutter speed. Right here, I have it one over 20. Now you can see that the video got brighter because again, it's like staring at the sun, but it creates a motion blur that is really unrealistic. It's not natural to our eye. Now I'm going to darken it so you can see it better because it's obviously way too bright. You can see it better here. It's like a ghost effect. Like my dog runs by and you can barely even see him, honestly, because there's just so much motion blur going on. It's hard to, it's hard to even capture him, honestly. Now I wouldn't say it's wrong because you can actually use this effect in certain uh, scenes. Let's say you created a short film where someone was drugged and they wake up and you create this motion, motion blur that would work perfectly for it. So it's not technically, it's not that you can't use it, it's just you gotta use it with a reason, you gotta use it with purpose. But as you can see, it does bother, it does bother our eyes, so I mean, I wouldn't use it unless you have a reason to. Let's see what happens when we have our shutter speed pretty high. As you can see, when we start bumping up our shutter speed, the image gets darker. Honestly, it really doesn't even look that bad when the shutter speed is pretty high, but it's not a natural movement that our eyes are used to. It's like, it's like if it's like too clean, the movements are like too clean. It's too crispy, I guess you can say. And honestly, because it's not a natural movement, our eyes, it's hard to accept it. It barely has even motion blur. It's hard to accept it when you actually see it. You can tell the difference because again, our eyes are not used to not having any motion blur. It doesn't necessarily look bad though. Now for our sponsor today, if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, these guys are called Be You, Be Real. It's a clothing company, you guys go check it out. They have jackets, they have hoodies, they have hats, they have pants, they have everything you need, accessories. You can go check them out, clothing feels great, looks great, you feel great wearing them. I'll have the link down below so you guys can go look around and maybe purchase yourself some of this merch. So, back to the video. The second thing you gotta take with you is the lower the shutter speed, the brighter the video. The faster the shutter speed, the darker the video. And third, for the most natural look in your video, your shutter speed should be double your frames per second. In other words, if you're shooting in 24 frames per second, double that, your shutter speed should be at 48, which usually we leave it at 50. But if you're shooting at 60 frames per second, double that, your shutter speed should be at 120. This will give you the most natural or real look for your film. Let's say you're shooting in 24 frames per second, right? And you have your shutter speed at one over 50, which is double that. Let's say your image is a little bit too bright and you wanna darken it just a little bit. Don't be afraid to put your shutter speed at one over 60. You can get away with changing 
the formula, I guess you can say. All this information is not set. It's not something that you have to do. It's just something you have to know. And then you can dabble around and you can mix it up to where it works for you. Or let's say you're shooting in 60 frames per second and your shutter speed is at one over 120, which is how it should be, but the image is a little too dark. Don't be afraid to lower your shutter speed to get a lighter image. Again, you do whatever you need to do to get what you want. Again, it's not set in stones. This is something that you can change. This is something that you can work around with. These are technically rules, but rules can be broken if used correctly. These are just guidelines for you guys to follow. If you need to break the rule, go ahead and break it and be creative and create something that works perfectly for your film. So that is all for today, guys. Uh, on our next video, we'll talk about aperture and that way we can tie all three things. We already talked about ISO. We now just talked about shutter speed and the next one is aperture. So stay tuned for that. Please share this video, subscribe, comment down below, like this video so we can expand. And thank you for all the support you guys are giving us and thank you for watching.